Panther Points Preview is brought to you by Bowman Auto Center, located on Route 30 in Rock Falls, your Sauk Valley no-hassle dealer. They offer late model pre-owned vehicles with several lending options available. Give them a call at 815-626-1497. You can find them on Facebook or online at bowmanauto.com. Well, you know, I, I mean, I've been on both sides of it, to be honest with you. I mean, when I started here, we only had 19 kids in the total program from freshman through senior and 10 people in the stands and, um, you know, nobody around, you know. Um, and then we went for, you know, three years in a row where we were ranked ninth, 10th in the state. We even got higher than that uh, in 2013. Um, you know, so I've been on, on all sides of it. You know, to me, we don't really pay – we try not to pay attention to any of it. Um, mm -hmm. You know, because when you do, that's when you lose sight of what we're doing on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, and last year, I think we did get too caught up in some of those things. Um, and it, uh, it doesn't help any matter of fact, it's probably toxic um, for our program more than anything else. So, um, you know, we just got to focus on who we are and what we do. Yeah, we, we have changed the scheme, though, overall. Um, you know, and, and a lot of that was... We had, you know, last year we had to make so many adjustments within our base scheme because of all the different teams that we were seeing that um, we, we felt like we had too many responsibilities and rules for kids and we really had to change defenses to, to really simplify it in all honesty so that it's easier for them to understand their rule and then how to jump back and forth once we, I mean, and, you know, we're going to see wide open this week, you know, and then next week we'll turn around and orient probably in double tight wishbone the whole game, you know, so... We just got to have that versatility and be able to be simple with our kids so that they understand where they're supposed to be. Eric Robinson will be kicking off for us, um, and he's the best kickoff kid we have in the program. So, you know, he'll be doing the kicking off for the varsity. And then uh, Levi Cole will be doing extra points. Um, and Levi can kick off too, and Eric can probably do extra points. But they're, uh, they're kind of backing each other up there. Well, again, you know, we lost some close games, and we missed out on a lot of point after touchdowns. Um, a lot you know if I could if, if we had a kicker we could line up every time just kick one that's obviously why the big boys do it that way you know because then you don't want to feel like you're chasing points and you know sometimes when we were going for two our kids are still excited about the touchdown and they don't execute like they should in regards to two-point conversion mm -hmm. um, and we've had to be honest with you that's kind of plagued us ever since you know we kind of went on our playoff run even in 2012 13 14 we were doing that where we were scoring touchdowns and not finishing afterwards. So, um, you know, hopefully this gives us the luxury that we can just line up and kick it and not have to chase. You know, again, I think we understand our roles and I think we understand our assignments. Um, I think, I think we have kids that understand who we are and how we win and how we can move the football together. Um, you know, and, and that's the biggest thing that I always want to see. Do they understand where the next guy is supposed to be and where they're supposed to be? Do they understand really our option football, which is fairly complex? Um, and these kids do. They seem to have a very good handle on that. So I think, you know, as a unit, um, we can spread the ball around to all of our backs and, and we can move the ball down the field. Cody's going to be electric, you know, he's going to have those runs in games, you know, not all of them, but he's going to have those in games. He'll get them this year or he'll just, you know, he'll pop one off um, because he is one of the probably the one of the more faster kids in the conference. You know, he'll prove that in the track season. He did last year in track season and, you know, he can prove it on the football field. Orion, last year we were we were down and we got the ball with three minutes left and Nathan was in at quarterback. Because uh, Philip was out and he let us right down for a score, you know, to put us ahead. Um, you know, so, but we were that confident with Nathan all last year, too. We really felt like, you know, we had Nathan. If anything ever happened to Philip, we, we weren't really going to mm -hmm. lose a step, you know, really at all with Nathan. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, you know, going into his senior year, we're even that much more confident with him. They're a kind of team that you, you only just try to contain, you know. You, it's very difficult to go out and just flat out stop them, um, especially with the weapons that they have on offense. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, so Drake is, is really the guy, you know, that they're going to let kind of manage the whole thing and run the whole show. 
but they also have a very good running back um, who touched the ball quite a bit last year. Um, number 25, Brian Hurst, his name. Um, he's a very talented kid. You know, and they, I think they have eight or nine returning, you know, returning starters. And, um, you know, I think a lot of people are, are high on them. I just saw the preseason rankings came out and they got some votes mm -hmm. down there. So, you know, um, there's a lot of talent there. So, big test. I think we've got them, got them ready for it, um, you know, and got them ready for the strength of his arm. You know, that's the one thing I don't think they quite, you know, you don't understand as a high school player on how far he can throw the ball too. You know, um, sometimes you, you can kind of slow down on your back pedal when you're at 30 to 40 yards in high school, but not on not on this kid. You know, you got to be in a pretty good back pedal and a pretty good run at 50 yards still because he can throw it that far. I really think maybe the small school side might have a little bit more this year. Um, you know, I, I really think Orion is um, has probably the best overall talent across the board. You know, this year as far as what they what they did last year in the postseason, and then the amount of kids they have coming back, mm -hmm. so experience and talent, they probably have the upper hand right now as far as the you know who's going to vote for who. I would vote for Orion um, as far as maybe at the top of the league right now. Um, you know, and we don't play Fulton, but I think they have an awfully awfully good core kids coming back, you know, just based on what I saw from a couple years ago. So I think they're going to be pretty darn tough. And, you know, nobody can ever count out Newman, you know, because they're at the top every year. Um, and we don't play Rock Ridge either, but I think Rock Ridge got some votes and, and you know, is also coming off some yeah. a lot of postseason appearances again as well. So, yeah. you know, I think the, there'll be a lot. You know, Princeton's coming off a quarterfinal, you know, uh, trip. And, uh, you know, I think they have that program rolling. So... Um, there's a, just a lot of good schools week in and week out we'll play.